Welcome to another grammar lesson. My name is Erin and today I will be taking you through some adjectives. So we're talking about adjectives today and we're going for some very basic English adjectives. Uh, when do you use them? How do you use them? And so if you have come across adjectives before, it's good revision for you. And if you haven't, then, well, let's, let's learn about some adjectives. So, what is an adjective? It's a good place to start. So, an adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun or a program or a pronoun. So, something that gives you more information about a noun. The word modify means to change. And good. And these sorts of words often come before the word that they change. That's what happens when you talk about um, adjectives there. So let's take a look at this very simple sentence. Mike lives in a house. Do we know a lot about this sentence? No. We know that there's Mike and he lives in a house. There are no adjectives in that sentence. So what happens if we do add an adjective to that sentence? Mike lives in a red house. See, already we know a lot more about the house. We know it's red. Red is the adjective there. And it gives us more information about the noun, which is house. Mike lives in a big red house. Now we know even more about the type of house that Mike lives in. We know it's big and we know it's red and we know it's a house. <laughs> so some adjectives will come after the word that they modify, that they change. For example, when we use the verb to be, so our last lesson covered the verb to be. I am, you are, he is. That, that's the verb to be. So when you're using an adjective in that sentence, you it comes after the verb to be. He is happy. Happy is the adjective. He is is a form of the verb to be. Thus, the sunset is beautiful. The sunset to be beautiful, the adjective. It's describing the sunset. I am tired. Yeah, I am to be and tired is the adjective there. And as you know, they all come after the verb to be. Um, sometimes adjectives are used after a verb, but this verb talks about senses or perception. So perception, something you can see, and senses, you have five senses normally. You have your, your sight, your smell, your hearing, your taste, and your touch. So something that you can experience yourself. And yeah, if you look at these examples here, you've got taste is something you experience, seem, Something like, oh, that seems like it would be a good idea. I think it might be. So I'm experiencing it. Feeling, appearing, and then sound, look, and smell are all senses there. So if we use them in a sentence, I feel cold. I'm feeling it, I'm experiencing it, and I'm cold. So you've got the sense verb, feel, to feel, and cold is the adjective, it's describing it. That sounds great. That sounds like a good idea, it sounds great. Great being the adjective, sound being what I can hear or experience, what I'm feeling. Her food smells delicious, it smells amazing, it smells really, really good. Smelling, I can experience it. I'm smelling it. 
and it's and I think it smells really good. It smells delicious. You look beautiful this evening. Again, look, I can see, and I think that you look beautiful this evening. So let's have a little activity. Um, you can see here, there's a nice little picture of a dog. And what I want you to do is think about an adjective that might go in this sentence. It can be any adjective that, that you want. Um, so my blank dog is barking. How would you describe the dog? So I've got some examples for you. Any of these adjectives would work in this situation. And it gives us more information about the dog in the sentence. So my little dog is barking, tells you the size of the dog. My old dog, my annoying dog. If my dog is being annoying, he's barking a lot, and I'm getting very annoyed at him. My healthy dog, my happy dog, my favorite dog. Maybe if you have two dogs, you might have a favorite one. It's the one that you like the most. I don't know, maybe. Uh, my fluffy dog that tells you about the texture, what he feels like. He's got a lot of fur, he's fluffy. Let's look at another one. So have a think, the tree looks what? What does the tree look like? Have a think and look at your adjectives there. The tree looks, it looks green. You can see it's got green on it, so it's a green tree. The tree looks tall, that's the size. The tree looks dead, maybe it's not alive anymore and it's all brown and there's no leaves on it. The tree looks pretty, it's it's nice to look at. I like looking at the tree. It's skinny, it's rough. Rough would be talking about the texture, so something you can touch. And as you can see, the adjective goes after the verb look because I'm looking, I'm experiencing. So if it's rough, the bark on the tree might be scratchy and you can feel it like that. Here's another one. This time we're going to use two adjectives in the sentence. So the blank man is blank. You can use any adjectives in this situation. One would describe the man and one would describe the man. What is he doing? What is he feeling? Because he's that the adjective that comes after at the end is about an experience. So here, the short man is handsome. So he's short and he is handsome. He looks very beautiful in a way. And you can see all these different examples. You can change them up and they will mean exactly the same thing. So the smart man, so he's clever and intelligent, or he looks very smart. He's maybe wearing a suit. Maybe he's a businessman, because smart in English has two meanings. So smart, he looks nice, and smart, he's very clever. He understands a lot. So the smart man is cheerful. He's happy. He, he's excitable in that way. The purple man is a color. Maybe maybe he's a purple man. Maybe it's an alien of some sort. And maybe he's lonely. Maybe he's by himself. Again, adjectives can change the meaning of a sentence completely. So it's very, very useful if you're writing a story or making stuff up and you can be as creative as possible. Now, in English, adjectives have an order that they have to go in. And if you ask any native speaker, they will not know about this. 
because as a native speaker, we do this without thinking. It just sounds natural to us. I'll explain a little bit more. So there are eight groups of adjectives. And I will start by saying, if you get the order wrong, people will still know what you mean. <laughs> but when you, if you want to sound like a native speaker and sound more natural and more fluent, you need to learn the order that these adjectives go in. If you're using more than one adjective to describe a noun or a thing. So let's look at this order. We start with the opinion. So that's my thoughts, my view. What do I think? And this could be something like, it's beautiful, or I think it's cool. I think it's, I think it's ugly. Maybe I don't like it. That's my opinion. And that's how I describe the noun. Next, we talk about size. Is it big? Is it small? Is it fat? Is it skinny? That's the size. And age. How old is the noun? Is it, is it new? Is it old? Is it from 2001? What year is it from? You talk about the age there. Maybe it's, maybe it's ancient. It's from a long time ago. And next we talk about the shape. Is it, is it round? Is it square? Maybe it's triangular. Triangular, the one with the three sides. A triangle in English, you would describe it as triangular because English is confusing. <laughs> um, next we use color. What color is it? Is it red? Is it purple? Is it rainbow? <laughs> Is it sparkly? Does it glitter? Does it shine? What color is it? And the origin, where does it come from? Uh, usually this is like a nationality. So is it Italian or French? Is it European, American? Where does it come from? Material, what material is it made out of? Is it wooden? Is it made of stone or brick? Is it plastic? What material is this noun made of? How are you describing it? And lastly, the use. What do we use it for? Is, does it have a specific use? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, an example could be a racing car. So you can have a car, but it's used for racing. Um, or maybe a kitchen chair. It's a chair, but it's made for eating at the kitchen table. It's, it lives in the kitchen and it's my kitchen chair. So let's have a look at some more examples because this can be a little confusing. Um, let's have a look here. So most of the time we would not use eight adjectives to describe one thing because it's a long sentence and that's a lot of information. Usually we use two or three adjectives. Most of the time we just use one. You can use as many as you want to, as long as you put them in the right order. So let's look at this one here. We're talking about Mike's table. So Mike's beautiful, big, antique, round, brown, French, wooden dining table. So you can see that's a lot of adjectives, but we have a lot of information about this dining table. We know that I think it's beautiful because that's my opinion. I think it's a beautiful table. We know it's large, it's big, and we know it's antique, it's old. We can see in the picture at the bottom that it's round, and it's brown. We know it's French. It was made in France. I can't tell that it's French by looking at the table, but because I read the sentence, I know it's French. It's wooden and it's a dining table. Now, you can see that's all in the correct order. Um, 
I've put some different examples here as more yeah, real life sentences that you would see used in English. So the long winding road. Two adjectives in that sentence, long and winding. And they're in that order because long is the size of the road and winding is the shape. So winding, you can see in the picture, it goes back and forth and up and down. A lot of mountain roads, they curve and they go around. That's a winding road. Uh, another example, her expensive black leather jacket. So in my opinion, it looks expensive. It looks like it costs a lot of money. We know it's black because that's the color of it. And it's made of leather. So the material is leather. And it's a jacket. So it's a black leather jacket. An expensive black leather jacket. And lastly, my new red Italian racing car. Now, I wish that that was my car, but unfortunately it's not. <laughs> but it's brand new it's totally new so that's the first one because that's how old it is it's the age it's red it's italian so it was made in italy or designed by an italian designer or manufactured made in italy and it's a racing car it's a car you use for racing <laughs> so that's the order that that goes in there now, we're going to do a little bit of an activity here. So I want you to read these sentences and think, are these adjectives in the correct order? Now, again, when it comes to learning the order of adjectives, you just have to sit down and study it because it's just, and you have to figure out, okay, this is definitely goes in this category and therefore goes first or second or third position in the sentence. So her new black car, is that a correct way of saying that? Are those adjectives new and black in the correct order? Let's see. Yeah, they are because it's age before color. Age, it's new, it's a new car and it's black. That's the color of it. Let's have a look at another one. My brown delicious large cup of coffee. I'll give you guys a moment just to have a think about that. Does that sound like it's in the right order? My brown delicious large cup of coffee. See, this one is incorrect. It is not in the correct order. Now, to a native speaker, that would sound strange if I told someone I had a brown delicious large cup of coffee, they would look at me and go, that doesn't sound right. It just doesn't hit your ear very well. What you really have to say is my delicious large brown cup of coffee. Because in my opinion, it was a delicious cup of coffee. The size, it's large and the color is brown. Because English is confusing. <laughs> I will never stop saying that. And you guys just have to learn it. But it is learnable, that's for sure. So don't give up if you're getting a little confused. Let's have a look at another example. The long sandy beach. How does that sound? If you take a look at the word, the adjective long, what category does that go into? What group is it? Is it an opinion? Is it a shape? Is it a material? Is it the age? What? Where would that go? So this is a correct sentence because long is the size and sandy is the material. So beaches have sand. That's the little grains of yellow stuff. <laughs> and it's the long sandy beach. Let's have a look at another one. My mother makes round, amazing cakes. Are those adjectives in the correct order? Does that sound like it's a, the correct sentence? Let's have a look. No, 
it is not. I mean, I knew that answer because I wrote this, but <laughs> hopefully you guys know that too. If you don't, take a look at the order. Opinion comes before shape. So I think that they're amazing. Somebody else might not, but I do. And the shape of the cake is round. So yeah, that is a very, very basic look at adjectives for today. So that's all from me today, guys. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all again very soon. <laughs>